my grandma without asking me. She was praying every night, every night. So I learned from her. And my mom, she always, when I had a problem and I talked to her, she's, she gave me an advice, but an, an advice, but always she was sending me to Jesus to talk to him, ask him. Sometimes I was like, ah, okay, but I try it and it helped. Most of the times we pray in the car when I'm driving because I don't have time to have five minutes. So I try to teach the kids to be thankful for another day. My favorite prayer is the Mass. I try to go to Mass often. And um, when I'm there, I try to close my eyes and be there every stage of the Mass, especially when I'm going to Communion. When I can go, we try to pray the Rosary with my family every night. And every decade, we try to pray for uh, the Pope. Um, the priests, the seminarians, for the people around the world, souls of the purgatory, or some friends that they ask for prayers. Now that I have more people around me, I pray for our customers, our employees, for everybody. Um, some of them are sick and they come and tell me, please pray for me. And I do that for them. Lately, since we started the restaurant, it's sometimes overwhelming for me. <laughs> so I, the more I struggle, the more I have anxiety sometimes. When the people call at the last minute, they can come to help out or our employees. I'm like, okay, Lord, help me to go through these days. Because we want our customers to be happy, you know, like to be well served. And... Sometimes you can't do everything by yourself. It's hard, so I try to be calm and do my best and be thankful for every person that comes in and do the best we can. Pray more. It's worth it. You'll find a beautiful relationship with God. And even though you don't feel it right at the moment, keep going. You're not going to regret it.